guys, before we get started, go grab your washi tape, your passion planner, and please do not forget your Pinterest images because we are about to get to work. Let's go. Buenos dias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Mi nombre es Susie Gonzalez, better known as Susie Styles across all social media platforms. I'm excited because today we are going to be mapping our career goals for 2021. Now, I know you might be skeptical or you're wondering if you should even put in the time to plan for next year. Well, let me just say that even in the midst of a pandemic that we can, and most importantly, we will achieve our career goals in 2021. It all depends on one simple decision. Are we or are we not willing to put in the work. Now, let me be crystal clear. I understand and acknowledge that this past year has been extremely difficult for millions of families, and I'm not ignoring that. Both my husband and myself have been jobless since the beginning of this pandemic. But I also believe a thousand percent that anything and everything that happens to us is not by coincidence. Everything has purpose. The reason we cannot afford to skip out on planning for our 2021 career objectives is because we cannot survive with what our government has quote unquote assisted us with. I'm sorry, but a thousand two hundred and possibly an additional $600 as a stimulus check is not covering the majority of people's rent this month, let alone the last nine months. And yes, a vaccine is on its way, but that does not change the last nine months of individuals trying to put food on their table, pay their rent, take care of their sick family members, or looking out for their friends and family's well-being. This is why we need to plan. I'm curious, have any of you watching today started a new business during this pandemic or considering starting something because of the lack of income coming in? Well, if so, go down in the comment box and add the Instagram handle or a link to your business. That way myself and other people watching this video can go and check out your products or your services. First things first, when starting a vision board, get crystal clear on what it is that you want. Maybe it's simply to find a job in 2021. Well, that's great. What does that job look like? Is it a job that you will be working with people, with makeup, creating delicious food, or are you going back to school and taking this time to elevate your skills and educate yourself in a particular field? Mine is focused on creating and growing my YouTube channel, which is why you see the subscribe button with 5,000 as a number of subscribers that I will be attracting this coming year. Shameless plug, if you're not already yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel, help a sister out, and let's get this channel to my amazing and very ambitious goal. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, well, Susie, 5,000 people is a very ambitious goal. And my response is, I know. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know and see my potential. What we need is for you to know and see your own potential. It's time to work. work, 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 work. <laughs> okay, maybe not that kind of work. What you wanna do next is add companies that you would like to work for. As you can see, I added brands that I absolutely love and would like to partner with this coming year. Keep in mind, this is your vision board. 
Do not feel the need to justify what it is that you want. Your job right now is to put it on your board and once that's done, next comes figuring out what we need to do to actually get there. I also added women that inspire me and that I would love to meet one day. I highly encourage you to add people that you would like to meet or seminars and classes that you wish to attend this next year. Now, COVID is still here, but we can begin to think about those yearly events that you would like to attend. Every time you open your passion planner to reflect, maybe write an important date down or plan your next step, you will see your vision board, which will be a constant reminder to save money. So when the time comes, you too can attend BeautyCon or go on that dream vacation to Japan that you've been wanting to go on, attend that summit to see or possibly meet that favorite author or actor, whatever it is that you desire. Simply put it on your board. Lastly, a vision board needs words of encouragement. Trust me, we all have difficult times throughout the year where we question whether the decisions that we're making are the right ones or the wrong ones. We start asking ourselves, did I make the correct choice? Now, the only thing I can say is do not give up. If you're super passionate about something, keep working on it. I encourage you to write your words of encouragement now. That way when those tough times come, you can fire yourself back up. You can use any word that really inspires you. It can be quotes from Pinterest. It can be your mom's Ponte Las Pilas talk. It can be anything. Just write it down. That way you can fire yourself back up when you need it the most. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's topic and I'm curious what are you most excited about for 2021? Also, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and help me get one step closer to reaching my 2021 goal of reaching 5,000 beautiful subscribers. Now, if you don't already have a passion planner, there will be a link down in the description box and a code that gives you 10% off your purchase. Again, 10% off. This is the code right here. Go ahead and head down to the description box so you can take advantage of that promotion. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next YouTube video. Bye.